In order to win in November, we're going to have to have strong support from the African American community, the Latino community, the Asian community, and the Native American community. We cannot take these communities for granted anymore, and my campaign is successfully working to earn their support every single day. So that was Senator Bernie Sanders vying for votes in the upcoming Nevada caucuses this weekend because Las Vegas is considered the first real test of a presidential candidate's pitch to voters of color. Latinos make up almost a third of the state's population and Democratic candidates like Sanders are counting on strong support from the voting bloc to carry them to victory. Joining us now is digital reporter for Campus Reform, Eduardo Noret. Eduardo, Senator Sanders is doing much better with the Latino vote than other candidates, but do you think he has a chance to see high numbers in Nevada? I do. He's done phenomenally well so far in Iowa and New Hampshire with Hispanic voters particularly, and I expect him to do the same in Nevada, which that actually may surprise some of your viewers. That would surprise a lot of analysts in this country because there seemed to be this notion that, oh, you know, Hispanics would never support a socialist because you look at countries like Venezuela, Cuba, and Nicaragua, and, and those were socialist countries that a lot of people fled, right? But that's actually not the case. The polls show that Hispanics are very open to supporting socialism. A recent poll showed that 62 percent of Hispanics have a positive or somewhat positive positive view of socialism. And also, it's, it's just important to point out that Venezuelans, Cubans, and Nicaraguans, you know, my dad was he fled a communist country. He fled communist Nicaragua. But these are actually a minority within the Hispanic community, these nationalities. Most American Hispanics are Mexican, and they did not flee socialist countries. So there, there's this notion going out there, and I think people would be wrong to, to assume that, because Bernie Sanders can and will do very well with American Hispanics. At the same time, you mentioned your dad, who's very aware of, of what things could be like in a uh, socialist or communist government. What about younger Latino voters who might obviously have never experienced it, grown up in a capitalist government their entire life? How are they voting? Sure, and that's the problem. So we're seeing a generational divide among Hispanics. People like my father and older generations, maybe, you know, these grandparents, they tend to take the view that rejects socialism. But we're seeing a disconnect with younger Hispanic Americans who are or more likely to embrace socialism. And I think there are two reasons. Number one is the economic reality. So a recent study showed that Hispanic Americans, Hispanics born in the U.S., have actually not recovered from the Great Recession. So they've faced economic struggles over the last 10 years. Now, when you have a candidate out there who's offering relief like Bernie Sanders, they're going to listen to that. You know, also, these younger American Hispanics are not receptive to the message, hey, look at Venezuela, look at Cuba, because they never lived there. They never lived there. They never experienced it. So it's a message that's difficult to resonate with them. And then I also want to point lastly, which is something we talk about often here at the Leadership Institute's Campus Reform, is these younger Hispanics are often the first in their families to fully go through the American education system. And, show, and so we show how college professors on campus are very left wing. You know, they praise socialism in the classroom. They bash capitalism. And so when you've gone through the education system here in this country, when you graduate, when you have, uh, you know, a positive view of socialism like that, and when you're struggling economically, it, it, it's a no brainer why you would support a candidate like Bernie Sanders. I just want to ask you really quick, Eduardo, on campus, have, have you talked to anyone about the Latino vote? Have you risen this issue or has the issue been uh, risen to you? So, yeah, this is something I've talked to students about. We plan on doing a video in the future. But again, these students are supremely concerned with economics. They are concerned with their future. They don't really tend to hear those messages about pointing to other countries. You know, again, the Venezuelas, the Cubas, the Nicaraguas. And so what I think is very important here, if Republicans want to win over some Hispanic voters, which is very possible, you know, it's not a difficult thing to do, is I think to focus on the economic message and not focus 100 percent on the anti-socialist message. So there is room for that. It is certainly a true message. But Republicans should also focus on how capitalism has benefited these younger Hispanics, how living in the United States has helped them, and how another four years of President Trump will continue to help them. If they focus on that, they can certainly win some of these Hispanic voters over. We're really looking forward to seeing that video. It's Eduardo Norat. He's the digital reporter at Campus Reform. Thanks for joining us this morning.